Hello, thank you for joining me once again on the Basic Academy. On today's video, we shall be looking at discussion of findings versus policy implications. The choice of this particular video is because a lot of researchers or scholars normally find it difficult to actually differentiate between discussion of findings and policy implications in their research. So this particular video will help you to be able to understand the differences between both of them and the similarities, all right? Now, the discussion of findings and policy implications are two distinct sections in research papers, thesis, reports, and they serve different purposes. Now let us start with discussion of findings. When looking at discussion of findings, essentially this section focuses on presenting and interpreting the results. That is the result that have been generated from your analysis that of course you must have conducted or, um, for the research or study. It involves a detailed analysis of the data, drawing conclusions and explaining what the results mean in the context of research questions or hypotheses that must have been raised, perhaps. Researchers discuss the significance of their findings, identify patterns, relationships, trends, and often compare and contrast their results or findings to existing literature. So what it simply means is that after carrying out your analysis here, under discussion of findings, what you basically need to do is to compare the outcome of your research findings with the other previous studies done. Of course, the previous, study, previous studies that you might have explained in your empirical review. So you need to compare and contrast the outcomes with yours under discussion of findings. Okay, so discussion of findings is primarily about understanding and explaining the research outcomes. So you may need to actually take care of and take take your time and look at the keywords actually italicized here. It will guide you on understanding essentially what this particular discussion of findings is all about. Now let us look at policy implications. For policy implications in this section, Researchers or authors explore the practical applications. This has to be underlined, the practical applications of their findings. It is here you bring out the, the how applicable your research findings are. Okay, specifically showing how the results can inform decision making, policy development, or actions. It discusses how the research results can be used to address real-world issues or problems. Of course, every research is aimed at addressing a particular issue. If your research is not if your research is not aimed at addressing a particular issue, then it doesn't make sense going into that particular research. And it is from here you draw out the real practical applications or implications of your findings. The policy implications section is about the practical impact and relevance of the research. I've seen a lot of scholars, when discussing their policy implications, they tend to make it look like recommendations or solutions or they are preferring solutions. That should not be the case. Under policy implications, what you should be bringing out here is the practical impact or relevance of the research outcomes. And again, it should not look like the discussion of findings we've explained earlier. Authors may, however, suggest specific policy changes recommendations or actions that could be taken based on the research findings. You may actually have to add this, but you don't need to make it look as if it's going to overshadow everything you are trying to explain, all right, especially under the um, policy implications of your findings, all right. Now, in summary, discussion of findings is all about analyzing and interpreting research results. Basically, it's all about analyzing and interpreting your research outcomes. Whereas policy implications focus on how those findings can be used to influence policies. That is the practical applicability of that particular findings, decisions or actions in a broader context. These sections are often found in academic or research reports and they help to bridge the gap between theory and practical applications. Oftentimes, some researchers normally merge both of them, but it's imperative for you to understand the difference between uh, each of them so that you don't have you don't sorry you may not have to make mistakes when presenting your research reports or outcomes especially for research for thesis seminars or conferences i hope this particular video will be of great help to academics and researchers that are interested in looking at how some of these things are explained in detail thank you for watching and thank you for listening